Hi everyone, in this video we'll be talking a little more about project management, specifically about managing the schedule. The learning objective for this video is as follows. After watching, students should understand additional project estimation practices now that a work plan is developed or in progress. First, let's recap. Hopefully you remember from a previous video that the main job of a project manager is to keep track of time, cost, and scope. We talked about the work breakdown structure and the project work plan, which have to do with both project size, or the number of tasks, and the amount of time taken on a project. I mentioned Microsoft Project and other project management software as tools to create a project work plan. These softwares can also be used to manage the cost aspect. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the time aspect of project management. Project estimates require refinement throughout the entire project. Even projects with high quality estimates will need refinement several times. As you can see in this table, research shows that during the planning phase, the estimates for cost and time might have an extreme amount of error in them. But as you progress toward the analysis and design phases, the margin of error on your estimates should become smaller and smaller. One technique for managing time in a project is called time boxing. Sometimes time estimating techniques may reveal that the project requires more time than you have available. Time boxing can help in these situations. The time boxing technique consists of the following steps. First, set a tight but realistic deadline. Then identify core essential functional requirements that must be part of the system. Also identify which requirements are not as essential. Then your project team should limit its focus to just the essential functions of the system. You stress high quality and then other functions will have to be added later in another version or iteration. Repeat these steps to add refinements and enhancements. If the project is underway and you found that a target date has been missed, don't assume you can catch up. The only situation in which you can make up time is when the following criteria are met. The remainder of the project is simpler than the part you fell behind on, and the remainder of the project is simpler than you expected when the original estimates were made. If the rest of the project is as complex as the part that you're behind on, you should adjust estimates for all of the scheduled dates by the percentage that your estimate was off for the current phase. For example, if you're three weeks late on a 12-week phase, that means you're 25% behind. So all of your other deadlines should be increased by 25%. To sum up, you must evaluate the complexity of the remainder of the project in order to determine the correct schedule adjustment. And remember, adding people is not always the right way to handle schedule slippages. Adding new staff to the project will increase the amount of training time and additional coordination. In sum, we've talked about some additional project estimation practices now that we have a work plan developed. If you can extend the deadline, do so and don't assume you can catch up. If you can't extend the deadline, use the time boxing technique to identify and complete only the most essential requirements.